morning hope you're doing really well uh, i am feeling so much better i've been moaning on to you for months about that cold and finally i feel like i'm back in the game so i went mountain biking at the weekend we went to bike park wales and we were doing the uplift but unfortunately because of crazy high winds um the uplift got well the whole mountain got closed at lunchtime uh, and after that we met, paid an impromptu visit to kumkan and did some trail riding there i feel kind of disappointed that i didn't have my camera with me because it would would have made such a nice video um, but let me know if you're into seeing that sort of thing trail riding and bike parks and i will take the camera along on more of those i often leave it at home because um like i said in another video i'm quite used to doing road and gravel videos and i'm not so used to doing mountain bike ones so um i will try and do more of them if you want them let me know anyway today uh, i am going to head off on a bit of an easy spin i've done quite a bit of training recently yes so happy to be back on it uh training in the home gym and training out on the bike and on the turbo trainer um so today is more like a sort of coffee ride and i figured i'd take you guys along with me and i'm going to answer some of the most asked questions that i get there are certain things that people always ask me both here and on instagram so i figured it was finally time to spill the beans <coughs> So out on the road bike today and one of the questions I get asked a lot is exactly how many bikes I have. So I probably should have thought of an answer before I started filming this. I have got one road bike, the Windy Miller. I have got two gravel bikes. I've got two Marin Headlands. One of them is not built up though. The other one I ride all the time apart from at the moment because I've damaged my wheel. I've got a cross country mountain bike, an enduro sort of trail bike. Oh, awesome, her lorry's just pulled up. Hello, uh, I've got a jump bike, a BMX, a track bike, another one that's not built up. How many is that? Eight? Eight bikes? I think I have eight. I did have 14 at one point, which was kind of excessive, but I sold a bunch of them. Anyway, let's go on this ride. Oh wait, I forgot one. I've also got the brown flat bar gravel bike thingy. You know the, what's it called? DS, you know, the Marin, the brown one, the one that people say is basically an old mountain bike. <laughs> It's so windy. I hope you're going to be able to hear this. It is freezing. So, what do you think is one of the most asked questions? I don't know whether you want to know this, but I get asked a lot how old I am. So I figured it was about time that I told you. It's not that hard to work out because if you look on British Cycling and you look at some of my race results, you can see what category I'm in and that kind of gives the game away. You can also look back and see when I was on various magazine covers and it was a bloody long time ago. So I have done a lot and I am 43. So let's carry on riding and I will answer more of your questions. So, next question. I actually had to write them down because even though I get asked these a lot, I thought I would probably forget them. Uh, okay, so, hmm, let me sit down for this one. People often ask me how I balance um, parenting, training, and uh, working, and how I manage to spend um, plenty of time traveling and stuff like that. The answer isn't <laughs> going to give you any great tips of how to um, manage training and parenting yourself because unfortunately I am a single parent so um, I only have my daughter 50% of the time. So um, that's why I get to travel and ride a bit because honestly I'm trying to keep myself happy when I'm not with her. That should probably answer one of the other questions I get asked a lot. Although these are vlogs and the videos are kind of sort of about me, um, they're cycling videos so I tend not to talk a lot about um, family stuff and personal issues which is why um, I've not really mentioned the fact that I'm a single mum before but there you go now you know. I still feel kind of weird saying this stuff on camera. I do share a lot but yeah like I said don't really talk about that so um, I'm going to put my helmet back on and go for a little pedal and then we will continue in a little while. Time to answer another question I think. Uh, so I am often asked how far I ride in a week and the answer is I don't really measure the distance. I do it in hours. So um, my training should be 
in the region of about 12 hours a week total um, and that's a mixture of endurance based rides and shorter higher intensity stuff plus some home gym type things it varies in length based on the week because it sort of goes in four week cycles and the last week of that cycle would be a kind of rest week where I'd be doing either slightly lower intensity or a slightly lower number of hours. My training also varies based on my goals. Last year I was training for some really long distance things like Trans Pyrenees which obviously was postponed so I ended up doing some really long weeks you know some of my rides would be like six hours long um, but at the moment yeah I'd say we're going for an average of 12 hours although of course I've not even been doing that because I've been sick. Hopefully I'm now back on track to um, to be completing those hours on the bike though. <laughs> oh, my legs are feeling it today though. This is meant to be a recovery ride. Well, I mean, it is a recovery ride, but every time I go up a hill, they're like, ow, ow, ow. It's my first proper week of actually completing my training. So yeah, it feels good to have sore legs. <sighs> I've totally forgotten what question I was going to answer next. Um, 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 oh, yep, thought of it. So, don't know why I'm answering this one riding up a hill. Um, how do I make a living? So, yes, I do YouTube full time. Full time is slightly overstating it. It's not like I do a nine to five every day, but yeah, I do make my living from cycling sponsorship and YouTube videos. So before I started doing YouTube, um, I already had sponsors as an athlete and I used to document what I was up to on my blog, my award-winning blog. <laughs> but um, I realized that it'd be fun to put video content onto the blog rather than just written stuff. So, um, oh, can you see me? I've got the sun right behind me. So that's why I started doing YouTube. And uh, I never kind of set out to be a YouTuber. It just sort of started working really well. So the current way I work is I have sponsors who support me for the whole year. Marin, Pedaled, who've made my awesome clothing. Smith, uh, Jimmy's Ice Coffee, Skoda, um, I have sponsors who support me year round and um, they pay me so that I can go and make my videos, do my job and so that I can show you guys all their cool stuff. Occasionally I get a bit of money from someone like say Intel who want me to create a video in collaboration with them um, and then also I can get some money from the adverts that run on my YouTube channel. So yeah, that's how. I make a living and I consider myself very, very lucky indeed. And I tell you what, without your amazing support here on my YouTube channel, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, life would not be half as good. So yeah, thank you again. Still climbing up hills, trying to talk to you. Um, but carrying on from that question about uh, how I make a living, I don't know why, but quite a few people have asked specifically how I got sponsored by Marin. The answer is I went along to a kind of mountain bike meetup. Whilst I was there, I met some people from Fox and Marin. And um, to cut a long story short, I got sponsored by Fox and Marin started giving me mountain bikes. So I got sponsored by Marin for mountain biking actually. Then they started doing all the gravel stuff and that's when it became more official. Like the mountain bike hookup was just, they gave me bikes to ride. Uh, when they started doing the gravel stuff, I actually got a contract and became an officially sponsored paid athlete, which is bloody amazing. Thanks Marin. I think I'm going to leave it at that. I actually want to go and buy some cakes, um, but I'm not taking you with me to do that. I just want to go and eat some cakes on my lonesome. Um, I'll leave it at that, but 
just wanted to check with you, you, you all. Quite a few people have asked me to tell them more about my tattoos. So maybe I'll do that in another video, do a bit of a tattoo tour. I also, oh, the road's closed. I'm gonna turn around. Right. I also um, wanna get a new tattoo. I want to get something on my left forearm about there. You probably can't even see where I pointed to, but I wanna get something on my left forearm not sure what I want to get, so please do leave me your tattoo suggestions. Hey, maybe I should do a competition where um, you get to design me a tattoo and that I get the winning one tattooed on me. That'd be pretty fun. But yeah, the other question I get that I can't do right now because I'm not at home is, um, well, it's not a question, but I get asked if I will show people um, or introduce you guys to my cats. If you want, I could, I could do that. Let me know. Anyway. I'll leave it at that because I'm going down a one-way road and being barked at by a dog. So um, let me know the answers to all those questions I asked you. Hope you found this one interesting and I will chat to you next week. Bye.